We do want to get to some breaking news overnight. Two teenagers are dead after an overnight crash in Marshall County. The Marshall County coroner says 18-year-old Michael Finley and 18-year-old Tori Smith were killed in that single car crash. Wind and heavy rain making for a messy Wednesday morning. We have team coverage making sure you have a safe commute to work or school. I'm Megan Reyna. Right now, our weather team is tracking the system as it moves across North Alabama. On the roads, we have Way 31's Luke Hynash. We come on the air right now mid breaking news. The landmark 1973 Roe versus Wade decision giving women a constitutional right to abortion is no more. So we have Wade 31's Luke Hydash joining us live mm -hmm. on the scene. And Luke, we understand you learned critical new information right. just minutes ago. You've heard of it. Your city probably has one. A child advocacy center. A place for victims of child sexual abuse to go. What if we told you the idea behind these centers started here in Huntsville, Alabama, off Lincoln Street in this house? What Maria, welcome side. We saw those ice trucks. We are seeing the sun and behind us, cars are moving. Huntsville police just announced over the speaker on the car, they just came by and they said that uh, people can start to go down Governor Drive, US 431 right here slowly. So take a look at these cars. They are finally moving after hours of being stuck in on this road and this road being closed, it appears that they are allowing people to go down Governor's Drive. I'm gonna show you the Shell gas station. This looks completely different than it did a few hours ago this morning, where like you just mentioned, there was a lot of people forced to sleep in their cars. Here, because I'm excited for Hispanic Heritage Night here at Toyota Field, like you said, not only the last homestand here, this is a celebration of the Hispanic culture here in North Alabama, a rich culture, a diverse culture. Welcome back, everyone. Time is 513. Today marks the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month. And all day long, we're sharing stories about how the Hispanic community impacts us here in North Alabama, a community that's been growing significantly. All month long, we've been taking you to the hot spots across Madison County. And this morning, our last stop is in West Huntsville, where its history helped inspire innovation. It's the first step of a program that one day hopes to send the first woman and person of color to the lunar surface. Thanks so much for joining us on this historic Wednesday morning. I'm Megan Reyna. We wanna check in right now with Way 31 anchor Dan Schaefer, who is in Florida witnessed the launch late or early this morning. You were there. Let's show you some video from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center last night during the watch party. We know more than 700 people showed up to witness history. Coverage you can count on. Way 31 Morning News starts now. It is December 1st and it sure feels that way. Bundle up. And those temperatures could be damaging your car. How you can make sure everything runs smoothly for you this morning. Threats to delay a military budget bill because of a COVID vaccine requirement for service members. What a group of U.S. lawmakers are now demanding. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday morning. It's December 1st. I'm Megan Reyna. Chris Statham does have the morning off. We are in a new month. It's December and it sure feels like it. Let's get a check of that forecast. The storm tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith. Definitely a shock to the system. Waking up to near freezing temperatures could be damaging your car. Auto experts say going from warmer temperatures during the day to nighttime lows can put extra stress on your vehicle. So they say check your battery in antifreeze levels and stay on top of your tire pressure. Those changing temperatures can cause the pressure to fluctuate day to day. We do want to pass along a traffic alert for you this morning. It's affecting drivers in Russellville. The railroad crossing on Madison Street is closed. Railroad crews are doing work in that area. The intersection of Gandy Street and Jackson Avenue is also closed. We have no word yet on when it will reopen. Well, you can track any traffic alerts and also those cold temperatures when you download the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. It's free for Apple and Android devices. I want to get to some breaking news overnight. Another child in Alabama is dead after battling the flu. This is the third child to die from the flu this season in our state. A total of 13 people have died in Alabama from the virus so far. The state health department has seen an increase in flu cases compared to last week. Today, a former Jackson County teacher convicted of sexual contact with a student will learn his fate. Scotty Ball's sentencing hearing is at 1.30 this afternoon. The jury found Bow guilty on charges that stem from an incident when he worked at Paint Rock Valley High School in Princeton, Alabama before it closed in 2018. Kyle, police need your help finding a scam suspect in DeKalb County. 
Take a good look at your screen right there. Christopher Gregory is wanted for felony theft by deception. Police believe Gregory is still in the Powell area. If you have any information about where he could be, call police. The Huntsville Police Department hopes a pay increase will help attract new officers. According to the department, on average, officers are receiving around a $10,000 pay bump. For new officers, pay now starts around $60,000. This next year, HPD is looking to add 24 new officers. And we've got great support. If you're interested, we do have a link to that application on our website, waytv.com. 633 right now happening today. School leaders in Madison will help decide the future of a closed elementary school. Way 31's Luke Hydash is live this morning with how the district is making what's old new again. Luke? Way 31 News. Luke, you'll be at that meeting. Give us an update with what we learned. Thank you. Staying in Madison, Madison City leaders say they need to do more research before they consider allowing medical marijuana dispensaries in the city. City council members want to know more about potential revenue numbers, how other businesses could benefit from it, and the potential effect it might have on crime. The city has until the end of December to submit an ordinance to the Alabama Cannabis Commission. A new arts and entertainment district could soon be coming to town, Madison. The label means you'll be able to carry alcoholic drinks between restaurants, Toyota Fields, and a green plastic cup. The proposal only needs to be approved by the Alabama Alcoholic Beverage Control Board. Businesses say that they're excited about how many more customers this might bring. Any kind of business. If approved, those new green cups will be rolled out by early next year. New this morning, Democrats will soon have a new leader in the U.S. House of Representatives. New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries will be House Minority Leader in the next session of Congress. It comes after current Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi decided to step aside. He'll take charge starting January 3rd. Newly elected Congressman Dale Strong says he'll support former President Donald Trump in his campaign for presidency in 2024. Strong cited Trump's border policies and economic growth during his previous term as the reasons why he is endorsing him. The former president endorsed Strong in his run for Alabama's fifth congressional seat. 636 happening today. The U.S. Labor and Transportation Secretary will try to convince U.S. lawmakers to support a bill that would stop a potential railroad worker strike. That bill is headed to the Senate after passing the House yesterday. It forces unions to accept that deal President Biden helped negotiate back in September. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville says he doesn't want to take power away from workers. That's the reason you have a union. That's your Business groups say a strike would cost the U.S. economy $2 billion a day. The chairman of the Federal Reserve says another interest rate hike is likely. Interest rates have increased six times this year in an effort to try and curb the highest inflation in 40 years we've dealt with. Fed Chair Jerome Powell says this next hike will be smaller than previous increases. Thus, it makes sense. To the Federal Reserve will meet in a few weeks. Military leaders are close to making a final decision on the future of Space Command headquarters. The Space Command general told Military.com that the decision could be announced soon. Space Command's move to Huntsville has been held up for review by the Pentagon Inspector General in a Government Accountability Office review. Today, NASA's Orion spacecraft will start its journey back to Earth. The spacecraft will depart from its distant retrograde orbit around 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's a first step towards splashdown in less than two weeks. As Orion falls out of orbit and moves closer to the moon, it'll actually fly over Apollo lunar landing sites. The face of the moon that... NASA hopes Orion's cameras will be able to take pictures of those landing sites and the hardware left behind a half century ago. Wouldn't that be a sight? This morning, a husband and father is mourning and recovering after a tree fell on his trailer during storms in Montgomery County. That man's wife and eight-year-old son were killed during that storm early yesterday morning. Overnight, he was released from surgery. The National Weather Service says an EF2 tornado hit that area thinking of that family. You could see changes to Huntsville's buses today while the city's honoring a civil rights icon. A new expanded college football playoff could be coming earlier than expected the move committee members need to make.